Good afternoon, everybody. Coach Luis here, health fitness specialist with Exos at Autodesk. It is 2.30 p.m. on a beautiful Thursday afternoon. Time to get some stretching and regeneration in. Now, before we dive into the routine I kind of planned out, I just wanted to check in with you guys and see if you guys had anything that feels like it needs a little bit extra love or stretching or anything that you uh, want to focus on in particular. It's always open to suggestions here. So you can come off mute or drop it in the chat, whatever you'd like. I'll give you guys a second or so to do that. Otherwise, we're going to be kind of addressing the whole body here today. Um, we'll probably do some shoulders, some hamstrings, some hips, uh, stretch out the glutes a little bit. And we'll finish with some neck stuff. I'm not seeing anything in the chat, but if you guys get inspired as we go along, feel free to drop anything in there. I will do my best to keep an eye on it and make changes if necessary. All right, so today we're gonna start in standing. We're gonna start with those feet planted about shoulder width apart here. We're gonna be moving a little bit through the shoulders. And before we do that with the feet planted, we also wanna make sure the rest of our body is kind of nice and secure. So let's squeeze those glutes a little bit. We'll bring the hips right under us. We'll tighten up those tummy muscles a little bit. It'll kind of keep our spine in place. With the arms relaxed down by our sides, we're just gonna practice pinching those shoulder blades together. So acting like we kind of got a, a walnut back there in between our shoulder blades. We can bring those shoulder blades all the way together, cracking that walnut. We can hold it for a second or two and then relax those shoulders. Let them kind of come back into their neutral position. We're just practicing pulling them together back there and then relaxing. What this is movement is kind of doing for us is undoing a little bit of that crazy desk posture that we all get into these days, kind of the hunched back through the spine. The shoulder blades will spread apart. We wanna really pull those shoulder blades back. We wanna open the chest up, open some of those shoulder muscles up as well. We're gonna do two more pinches here, guys. Keep those glutes squeezed, keep that core tight. Second to last one here. All right, last one coming up. Big pinch, hold it, squeeze through the middle of that back, and then we can relax. Well done, all right, let's relax everything else. Next thing we're going to do is a little bit of forward fold action. So I'm gonna bring my camera down just a hair here. We're gonna stay in standing, but stretch out kind of the, the back, the, po the whole posterior chain by doing a little forward fold. So. With the feet planted about shoulder width apart or even a little bit narrower, what we're gonna do is start by pushing those hips back towards the wall behind us. So the hips aren't gonna stay over the ankles. We're gonna push them all the way back, keeping those legs nice and straight and then letting our upper body kind of fold at the hips. And we're hanging down towards the ground here. Everything's hanging too. Let that head hang, let it relax. Let those arms hang. If you would like to make your upper body a little bit heavier, you can grab onto each elbow and that'll kind of make the arms a little more solid here in this hang. But it's key that we kind of keep the legs locked out, keep those hips pushing back, most of the weight in the heels. Again, we don't wanna be coming up too high off the toes, but lots of weight in the heels. Hips are pushing back like we're trying to touch a wall behind us. So let's take a couple more breaths here in this position. We're just letting the head hang, everything from the back of the head all the way down to our heels and the bottom of our feet. All that tissue is connected. So we wanna make sure we can stretch it out every once in a while. Even if some parts of that chain are, are good, they're loose, other parts could use this, this stretching. All right, so let's let those arms go down towards the ground if you haven't done that already. And we're gonna slowly roll ourselves up, just taking it one vertebrae at a time, slowly bringing those hips back under us, head, neck, and shoulders, last thing to come all the way up. Nicely done, you guys. Give yourselves a little shake. Okay, we're gonna come down to the ground for our next one. So we're gonna get into those hips a little bit, trying to open up the inside of the hips here a little bit. So. We're down on the ground, hands and knees here. What we're gonna do is spread out those knees. They're not gonna be directly under the hips anymore. We wanna spread them out ideally so we can get those feet pointed out and away from us. So you can kind of see down here with my left leg, 
it's rotated so that my toes are now pointing out and away from me. The arch of the foot is in contact with the ground. Same deal on the other side, right foot pointed out and away from me. So we're going to rock back into some tension here, trying to open up the inside of those hips. Now we can start up here from being supported on our hands, or we can come down here to the elbows. Now coming down here to the elbows is going to make the spine a little bit straighter a little less bent, so choose whatever is most comfortable. And then let's slowly start by rocking back into those hips. Man, my hips are feeling a lot of tension right now. And then we can come out of that tension. We just hang out there for a second or two. So we're just slowly rocking back and forth, just doing whatever you can manage here today. <sighs> Breathing as we go. Doesn't help to hold our breaths when we encounter tension during movements and stretches like this. We want to be able to breathe and use that exhale to our advantage. We can conquer that tension. As we get a little more comfortable through these positions, guys, feel free to push yourself maybe just a little bit more, depending on how you feel how this movement feels. If anything is uncomfortable, avoid it. Limit yourself based on that. We're not trying to induce any pain here today. That is not the goal. All right, next rock back is gonna be our last, guys. Let's continue to breathe. We're gonna rock back into that tension. Hang out there for a sec. And then let's rock ourselves back forward. Nicely done. Okay, coming back up to support on the hands here. Can shift some weight into that upper body and slowly inch our knees back under us. So we're nice and supported here. And from here, we're going to lay down on our backs. So take a moment, find the best spot within your space. We're lying down on our backs here. Okay, now we're gonna stretch out the back of those hips. So with the knees bent here, let's take that right ankle, bring it up and rest it on top of that left quad, right above that, that left knee. Now from here, if you're really tight, you might just be able to pull on that right knee, pulling it kind of in towards the chest and across the body. This might already be giving you a solid medium stretch. So if so, you can feel free to hang out here, keep that breathing going. If you're looking for a little bit more stretch, what we can do is now elevate that left leg reach in between the gap in our right and left leg. We can grab, grab onto the back of that left thigh and pull that left leg in a little bit closer to our chest. Now this should create kind of an exaggerated stretch in that right hip. Once we find a medium stretch, we can breathe, we'll hang out. Focusing on breathing away that tension. Good job, you guys, good job. Let's do one more breath. Nicely done, okay. We can get out of this one by slowly letting that left leg come back to the ground. Right leg and right ankle can come off that left leg. We can reset it. All right, now we're back to the starting position. So let's do the same thing other side now. Let's take that left ankle, rest it above that right knee. From here, again, check in with yourself. Make sure that even after pulling on that knee across and up on the body, if that's not enough stretch for you, we'll go into the figure four. So we're gonna elevate that right leg, reach through the gap between the left and the right, grab onto the back of that right thigh, and from here, we can lay all the way flat, pull that right leg back in closer to our body in order to exaggerate that left hip stretch. Remember, medium stretch, guys. That's all we need here today. Let's use our breath, control that tension. Even with our lower body all pretzeled up like this, guys, we still want to focus on diaphragmatic breathing and letting the entire 
torso kind of expand on the inhale. And then deflate on the exhale. All right, last breath here. Nicely done, okay. Let's slowly release that right leg, control it back down to the ground. We can bring the left ankle off that right leg. All right, you guys, the final thing that we're gonna do here today is focused on the neck. And so we can stay lying down here on our backs. Feel free to let the legs uh, lay flat or have them bent like knee, either way is fine. But what we're gonna do now is focus on kind of making uh, what's called a double chin. We're gonna try and retract um, the, the spine a little bit. And so what I want you guys to imagine is that right under the base of our skull, there is a water balloon. As we kind of create that double chin and push the back of our head into the ground here, letting our chin drop down to the neck, I want you guys to imagine trying to pop that water balloon. So we're gonna hold this position for a couple seconds, come out of it, repeat. So here we go, let's take a deep breath. And on that exhale, let that chin drop. We're pushing the backs of our heads into the ground, trying to crush the water balloon at the base of the skull. And relax. Good job. All right, here we go. We're gonna do a couple more. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, drop that chin. Push the back of the head into the ground. We should feel some muscles around the back of the neck working. And then relax. Come let that chin come up a little bit. All right, we're gonna do one more. Here we go. Exhale, make that double chin. Let that ground feel some pressure that you're adding to it. Trying to pop that water balloon. All right, let's relax that neck, you guys. We can bring that chin up. Well done, way to stick with me through that last one. All right, everybody, you feel free to stay in that position. If that's a position that feels good, that is all the time I have left for this stretch break here this afternoon. So thank you guys for joining me. As far as live events and offerings that we have going on for the rest of today, the last class is abs and core slash mobility at 4.30 p.m. Pacific. That will be led by me today because Brittany is out of the office. So looking forward to that class. It's always really fun to kind of get the abs and core, you know, woken up, working for a little bit, but then also to, to end um, on a more relaxing note with some mobility, just working on some joint ranges of motion. Um, don't forget guys, blood drive, big event happening in the month of June. Signups are still going on through the end of this month of May. Um, I hope to get as many people signed up as we can, just so we can donate blood and transform lives. All right, everybody. So thanks once again for joining me, Coach Luis. I'll see you guys next time.